Hello, faithful viewers. Remember me? It's that guy that used to upload regularly on YouTube, but doesn't anymore. So, it has been a while since I've vlogged. Uh, it's been like a couple of weeks, and I am sorry for that. There were mitigating factors in that. Uh, I did get quite badly ill for a little while, and it kind of just threw me off. I didn't really feel like filming or doing much of anything. I got into a bit of a funk, I got quite lazy. But on the upside of that is that me and Maddie had a good long talk about this channel and where we wanted to go because Maddie's channel has been doing well the past few months and we're really glad about that. So we've been putting a bit more focus, a bit more of our time into that and we've been sort of better organizing ourselves around that because uh, before, even when we moved in, it was all just kind of a mishmash. We'd do some videos, but we, we didn't have enough of a routine uh, and now we do. And for example, this week, Maddie's been doing a couple of videos for Waitrose, the UK supermarket, which we both love. So it's been good, but I know I've been neglecting this channel quite a lot. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for a handful of you who miss regular updates from us. So I've already lost my train of thought. Uh, the upside is that I feel, I feel like I've come back more into vlogging. There was a time where I was kind of just vlogging for the sake of it and I wasn't really into it and I wasn't enjoying the filming and editing process. And I'm a bit of a scaredy cat. So when I would go out in the street, I wouldn't film anything because I would be like, I feel incredibly awkward around people, which is obviously the complete opposite of what you want in a vlogger really. Um, but I feel like I've come back after this illness and I feel more comfortable with that. I've kind of just got to get over it. I was listening to a podcast. It's another thing I've started doing, which I think has helped. I've started listening to some podcasts. Um, I've got a few to recommend. There was uh, the Tony Robbins podcast, which is quite good, but also the Adam Buxton podcast, who is a British comedian. And they were talking about the spotlight effect, I think it was called, where you assume everyone's like thinking about you or talking about you or looking at you when you walk down the street. Um, but that's not the case at all because people are so wrapped up in their own lives that they don't care. And even if they do see something weird, like, hey, why is that guy walking down the street with a camera? They'll either figure it out, like, oh, he's making a video, he's vlogging, or they'll be like, eh, don't care. So yeah, I've got to get over that. And we've got some micro muffs on the way. I've been like chatting about them for months and I finally got around to getting my hands on a couple. So we'll be filming with those hopefully. And that just means that it will make things, it will make filming outside a lot easier because there won't be that horrible wind noise that I've noticed on the more recent videos. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this rambly intro. I'm sure me and Maddie will discuss like what we've been up to the past few weeks a bit more, in a bit more depth and a bit more detail. I thought I'd just stick this in before the video because today, it is VegFest Brighton 2K18. And Nat and Lydia, our friends from several vlogs, are coming down. We thought they were coming down from Leeds this morning, so we thought we had a bit more time than we do, but turns out they're actually in South London today, so they will be down in a bit. I don't know what time it is, like half eight. They'll be down at 10-ish, because we want to get there nice and early and get all the free samples. And there must be a video on Maddie's channel where we went to, it was the first VegFest we went to. Shortly after I turned vegan, this must have been a couple of years ago, we went to the Bristol one when we were in Cornwall, so we drove like two hours to get to VegFest and we ate all the samples we could get our hands on basically at this place. We got there at the right time, all the cheeses, all the like little deli meats and stuff. And then we had a burger and a pizza each as well. Yeah, <laughs> we felt so sick, but we got our money's worth. I'm going to put my newfound boldness in vlogging to good use, I hope, though I'm sure when I get to the place, I'm going to like seize up and feel awkward filming but whatever just got to do it it's a mental thing i am really looking forward to this it's going to be a fun weekend my stomach is ready i thought i'd just preface the vlog with this little intro just because i thought it'd be a bit weird if we just suddenly threw out a vlog after two weeks without explaining what was going on so yes on with the vlog also if anyone uh i've got a little stud detector thingamajiggy on online because this area here is a bit bare and we thought it would be cool to like hang the bikes on a, like a stand on the wall. As you can see, here they're kind of in the way. You kind of have to balance them so the door just closes. And we also have that hoover around the corner. It's a bit of a mess in here, sorry, we've just done the washing. It comes with like a little stand thing you can put on the wall. 
So I was thinking of putting it like there. I googled like uh, wall bike stand and all the things that came up with like these elaborate DIY Pinterest things. But really I just want something for like 10 or 20 pounds. I can stick my bike on the wall so it doesn't scuff the floor anymore and make it muddy. Anyway, I'll let you know how that comes along. I've been meaning to do that for ages as well. I made a new candle. So many things to update you on. This one, the last one just turned into a bit of a mess. For any of you interested in chandlery, we only had, I only put one wick in it because, you know, every candle I've ever bought like this has one wick in it, but then it just did not melt properly and it made like a bit of a tunnel, a bit of a hole in the middle. So now I put three in and it is so much better. It probably burns it a bit quicker, but whatever. Right, just a little mystery gift on Pokemon Moon. Don't know if any of you are into that. It's always fun to get free stuff. I really don't want to eat breakfast so I can just eat everything at VegFest, but is that wise? I don't know. I'm pretty hungry. So we just had an absolute mare trying to use these Brighton share bikes, and of course Alex was the one who was last to do it, and he's struggling. <laughs> but we're finally gonna be on the bikes, and Nat's here, and Lydia. Yay! Yay! We're gonna go to VegFest on these bikes, Eventually. eventually. Have we done it? What did you do with it? You put it you in the holster. Take this out. Oh! Unlock. Press unlock. Oh. Enter pin code. Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> Remove you oh. bar. There we go. Oh, I wonder if the PSI is correct. Woo! That's a little... What the hell? You just turn it. Oh. busy which makes me happy these guys just got themselves some pies and I'm not gonna be able to eat half the food today because it's all gonna have wheat in it I want a pie so we were downstairs for a while trying to figure out where the food was and we came upstairs and here it is it smells so good Alex is getting all the samples Hit the jackpot. This is my favourite vegan cheese for this day. Let's try some. This is the best flavour. Mild aromatic. Oh, we've got two for one. Sure. That one's so good. Okay. I'm gonna have to buy loads. Best vegan cheese. Right, pick on. Oh, that one's really nice. Let's try. Sure. I keep on getting two. Oh well. <laughs> Ooh. Pecan, I forgot how good that woman is. Pecan, a lot like aromatic. Oh, yummy. Right, well, should we buy mild aromatic and pecan? Mm. Oh, I could smell it from here. Mm. What did you get? Gluten free mac and cheese because I'm struggling with the gluten free options in here. His pizza slice, which I just had, and it was really good. And then yeah. this wrap, which is what's in there? It's the chipotle, chipotle chicken wrap. Yeah. Mm. The guy stuffed it so full of chicken, it's really good. <laughs> I spent about 15 minutes trying to find the food I liked after everyone else had picked it. Uh, then I realised I had no money, so I had to go back to Maddie. I picked the store for food in the end, but I had no one queuing for it, so I felt bad for them. Was it good? But it was so good. Yeah. Like, the guy stuffed it full of like yeah. seitan chicken. It was incredible. Uh, it was incredible. Was Island one. delight. Yeah, there's always a few. Like last year when we came, there's always a few where the queue is like 20 people all day. Yeah. They've done quite well. It's Tim Sheaf in the background, I think. <laughs> is it? Is it there? Come on. <laughs> London, it's like Whole Foods. Yeah, they use like um, they repurpose stuff like coffee grounds and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Our turn next. Yeah. 
<laughs> we'll, have, we'll have a good run. Having chips. Do you want it? Smell? I can smell it. Ooh. And the vegan t-shirt. Where did you get this from, Alex? I got it from. I don't know where you got that really nice t-shirt from. Link below, Veggie Athletic. <laughs> After a long break outside by the beach, we've come back in for warmth and because we didn't think we got enough uh, goodies. I wanted to get a vegan like top for the gym but they didn't have my size. I've spent so much money today haven't I? Yes you have. Like we were here for maybe we like half an hour and I already had spent 50 quid. Because yeah, we got like 15 of it was to get in. Yeah, and then so. we got Bugusto cheese, and we each got something to eat. And I got two things to eat, and they were 10 pounds. I didn't even think about it, I just bought them. <laughs> I like that in a way because I'm just you always managed to find the most expensive thing on the menu without trying. I'm a bit disappointed though because I haven't had like a big appetite today. I think because I've been to Veg Fest a few times, I've tried a lot of the things, but yeah. um, and also because I can't have gluten, so just so many things are just written off. <laughs> Veg Fest is done. Uh, that was fun. That was really fun. I definitely stuffed my face full of samples, but I think this year they were a bit more cautious about the size of samples I gave out. And even the gluten-free pizza, I was a bit skeptical of it, but that was really, really nice. Um, I can't remember the name of the company, but I'll put it on the screen maybe. And now I'm just running back because we went to the uh, rental bike stand and there were only three. So I drew the short store and had to go back. Short store? Short straw and had to run back to get one. Yes, there is one here, excellent. The seat is way too low. Veg ah. <laughs> Hall. I got a coconut and a mango. Isn't that exciting? Because I've just been scrounging like an old Nivea one we found in my parents' house for months. So it's nice to have a proper legit vegan lip balm that actually tastes nice. Oh, I'm stuck! And then it ripped through but the bag. The lid obviously wasn't on properly. Well, the lid wasn't on properly. Oh, but it must have had to do it upside down for it to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi. Yeah. You actually put oh, it in the jar. <laughs> I paid six pounds for this. I only put it. In, I only put it in my jeans in the wash last night. <laughs> Discla Disclaimer, we did mop We did last mop night. yesterday. But I paid £6, pounds, I'm getting my, I'm getting my <laughs> The lounge has got that nice cheesy smell <laughs> that I love. 
Uh, actually, this is probably one of the low, lowest moments of my life, scraping cheese off of the floor. Do you want me to rinse the lid so you can put the lid on? <laughs> yes, please. No. Right, well, is this your the... handwriting? Yeah, this is my this, no, this is my actual handwriting. This is your teacher handwriting so on the sad. blackboard. No, this, this is my actual handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you right. But you can see my handwriting there. This is a really sh- um, No, you should. Oh, joined up. Yeah. You know cursive? Wow! Okay, Lydia, what are we doing? I don't really know. Oh. Alex is done. Not bad. Oh, this is hard. His, your tongue oh, is out. Is so He's got really tiny handwriting. Right. This is our personality summed up. I like that one and that one. Okay, we'll put a vote on. <laughs> These are the best. <laughs> we'll put a vote on the screen. Yeah, which, which one's... Is... Which is the best the handwriting? Best. Mine. Wait, can I do mine again? <laughs> no, no, you had your chance. <laughs> Why are we doing this? So we've gradually changed our minds from wanting Thai to wanting pie. So now we're going to Tesco to get chips and peas and stuff. So we've got some pies at the at VegFest. Maddie got a gluten-free one. So we're just going to get loads of like snacks instead. Yum. Saturday night pea shortage. This is Brexit for you. This is enough for all of us, right? It's good to know uh, these no. potatoes really? are gluten free. We are honest to God. That's enough. Come on, no, that's enough. That's enough for life. No, Lydia, that's that's enough. Enough. that is enough. No, no. honestly. Uh, honest to God, I'm telling you, that's what? 1.5? No. No. <laughs> I'll take it upon myself. Great success. Great success. Oh, look how cute the pies are. Spot the gluten-free one. Come on, let's do a let's do a click finger transition. Damn it! Ah. No peas, they're foreign. They're <laughs> from <sighs> Oh boy! No. What flavour pie? Uh, I can't remember. Why would Sweetie you eat tart? Sweetie tart. Sweetie tart, yeah. Like what no. flavour pie? Everyone's um, angry at me today. Can't really, I think. We just. What flavour pie? Five. Spicy bean. And I forgot. Maybe spicy cu uh, curry? Butternut! Butternut curry! It was in the video earlier. Good evening, Clarice. Bonus points if you figured out the movie from that short clip. And I'll leave you with a bit of trivia before we settle in for the night. He never ever says, Hello, Clarice, in Silence of the Lambs. It's only ever, Well, Clarice, or Good evening, Clarice. We'll be vlogging tomorrow too. Wow, two days in a row. So I'll see you then.